Hi there, this is John Alexo from ProSiteTorials and in this video I'm going to explain how you can integrate a live chat inside of your WordPress website. And for this I'm going to use a plugin from Formula. This is one of the most popular plugins for this. Even though you can choose another one if you prefer, there are so many out there for this. But the one that I prefer is this one. So first I'm going to explain how you can install this plugin inside of your WordPress website. Second, how you can use its interface, change the several settings inside of your interface, including the appearance of your live chat. And lastly, how you can use this live chat so you can interact with your visitors. So let's get started. So for you to integrate your live chat inside of your WordPress website, you must first log in to your dashboard and once you are here you want to go to the plugin section and you want to add new. Okay so in this search box you want to search for for Mila and you will see that it's the first plugin that appears in this listing. This is a plugin that you want to install. It has a good rating also quite a few installations already more than 8,000 active installations. You can click on the more details so you can get a better idea of the several features that come with this plugin before you decide to install it. And once you are done, you just press on the install now button so you can start using this plugin. And now you just activate so you can start using it. And once you have done that, you can see that you have a new section on your sidebar call formula chat which you just want to click on and now you need to have a chat ID so you need this ID so you are able to connect your formula account with your WordPress website and for this you need to create an account with formula so that's exactly what I'm going to show to you now so you click on this link that says sign up and I'm going to open this in a new tab and now you need to put your email address also a password and confirm your password and also where you are going to install this live chat so it's, it's in my test website and then you just press create account now you are taken to formula dashboard and they get give you this plugin ID which you simply want to select everything copy it go back to your WordPress dashboard to this section and inside of this blank spacing you just insert this ID and now you just press save settings now if you go to your website and refresh it you will see that you have your live chat integrated so you have this new section appearing below which allows your visitors to click on and send the message that they want. Now let's go back to Formula Dashboard. This is the area where you will be able to manage the messages that you receive from your visitors or if you have other people who are your agents also doing the same task. Now the first thing that I recommend for you to do is simply go to your settings which is over here on the top section you click on this arrow and you go to my account here you want to change the display name and this is the name that your visitors will be able to see once they are interacting with you so I'm just going to add Jordan Alexo and press save changes now I'm going to the widget section and the widget is exactly the live chat that you have integrated inside of your website. And in this area, you are able to fully customize your live chat. You can even change the color of your live chat. So this is the one that I already have integrated in my website. If you want, you can add a new one by clicking on Hat Chat Widget. But in this case, I'm just going to edit the one that I already have by clicking on this icon. Okay, so you have several sections which you can select. 
the first one is this one and you can change your the name of your widget also where you want to receive your notifications each time that someone sends a, a message through your live chat also you can choose when your widget is available so people can live chat with you so you can set a schedule and select time zone I'm just going to put my time zone over here so let me see if I can find it it's this one and just say changes now in language in language you are able to change the the test that you have inside of your live chat so chat with us, you can see that it's this message, chat with us, that you are able to change. Let's say, I would love to chat with you. And it's pretty much, uh, pretty straightforward, the, the other messages. Just change the messages and have the test that you would like and just say changes. Now let's go to appearance. And in appearance, you can change the, the color of your live chat for example button color which is this color that I have over here this dark gray let's change to another color let's say uh, pink and see how it looks like so save changes it to refresh my website so you can see the changes that I have in my widget it looks pretty terrible but you get the idea and it's really, you gotta test around the several colors that you have over here until you have the the live chat widget the way that you like. And I'll get, let's go to advanced appearance. Over here you can add a, a custom button icon if you want. So you have several features over here that you can add. You can even add a, some custom CSS so you can more easily configure your live chat the way that you want. Display rules, you can add several rules of how you want your widget to display inside of your website. So in this case you can select, for example, if I didn't want this widget to appear in my front page, I would do exactly this. In this case I don't want to do that. And let's get to advanced options. Here you are able to change the request chat test. This is a message that you will send to your visitors once you request to talk to them. Enable auto display. You can you can select this option if you want your live chat to pop out to your visitors after a while. You can actually you just need to check it. And as you can see, you can change the amount of time that it will take to pop out and also the message that will be presented to them. Enable auto response. This means if you don't reply to your visitors after 60 seconds, they will automatically receive a message. So you can check this option, change the amount of time that you want your message to appear, and also write exactly the message that you want to send your visitors. If you want to, your visitors, they need to have their email so they can start a live chat, you can also select this option. And if there is no agent available, then your live chat button won't appear inside of your website. And actually, this is a good option. So I'm just going to save changes. And now I'm going to My Apps. Here in My Apps, you can choose the application that you want to use. For example, if you have a mobile and it's using Android, you can install familiar application over there. And this allows you, while you are walking down the street or whatever, you are doing a longer day, it allows you to still interact with uh, your visitors that are using your live chat. So you have several options here. It's really up to you what you want to use. Then you can go to Agents. And in Agents, you can add new people to your, to your live chat. This allows other people to also help you manage the visitors that you receive in your live chat. Then you have inbox. And there is nothing too special about inbox. It allows you to see the messages that you have received from your visitors and so on. And then you have reports. And when it comes to reports, you have several options. It basically allows you to filter 
based on the option that you chose. For example, you can see the total chats and emails that have happened. Also, you can see the, the browsers that your visitors are using, the operating system, their screen resolution, edge view, and conversion. So you can have over here some, some options so you can filter and get more detailed information. Now let's go to the dashboard and test everything just to see how it works. So now let's say that one of my visitors goes to my website and they decide to use my live chat. So they click over here and they write the message that they want to send to me. How's where are they going? Let's say that. And then just press start. And you can see that since I'm I'm logged into Formula dashboard, I receive all of these notifications. And if you want to remove this annoying beeping, just get to alerts and just enable this sounds because it can get quite annoying after a while. Just press over here this OK. And now you can see that I have a new message from one of my guests. I just need to click over here on my new message. And now I am able to reply to my new visitor. So let's say I am well and house where are they going and then I just press enter and I send that message to my new visitor which they will receive as you can see inside of the live chat so this is how my visitor will be able to see my message and basically you can see that also you can get a lot of information from your visitors you can see there, you can click on edit so you can have some contact information from your visitor if you have their email address, their first name and last name and also phone if you want. So next time they go back to your website, you will have more information from them. You can see the, the path they took to go to, their webs to your website and use your live chat. You can see their country, uh, the city where they live, also, you can see their, their operating system, the browser that they, use, they are using, their screen resolution, and also their IP address. So you can get quite a lot of information over here. Now, let's say that your visitor logs out from your live chat. So they go over here and they just decide to delete this live chat. And you can see that once I go to my dashboard, the user has ended the chat section. So let's go back to the to the chats that I already have available and let's request a chat with my visitor. So let's request and you can change over here the message that you want to send to them. So let's just send a new chat. And you can see that I, my visitor has received this message asking if they still have something to ask me or, or if they need more help and so on. So this is basically how you can use this live chat from Formula. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, and it's pretty good because of that. So if you enjoyed my video, please like and also subscribe to my channel so you can receive my weekly video updates where I talk about WordPress, about internet marketing, and a lot more. So stay there, stay tuned with Pro Tutorials, and bye!